Hello everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a second year MBBA student at Government Medical College, Nagpur and welcome back to my channel. I should have been in third year this year, but since the pandemic is going on, everything has been shifted a few months ahead. So please bear with me. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the method, the process in depth of how I study and how I retain information for a slightly longer duration of time. And yeah, this will probably help you in retaining everything. So before we go any further, let me just mention that every concept in the world has a different method to be learned. All right. And every subject has a different method to be learned. This is something which I've been following for about two years now. And this has helped me a lot. With that being said, let's dive on to it. So before we go directly into the concept itself, I want you to pictureize the earth. I want to pictureize the geography of earth. That is uh, the different layers of the earth from inside the core the mantle and the crust you see there are three layers and there are various subdivisions of these layers as well the concept that i apply over here is similar to the concept that is applied while studying geology that is the earth is made up of layers similarly the information in our mind it is made up in the form of layers we keep everything organized that way and not haphazardly arranged randomly okay and if you take the case of earth if one of these layers falls then it could be catastrophic for everyone similarly here also if one of these layers falls down then that could affect the entire structure of your memory of course all right so let us start making all of these layers so there is usually five or six layers of anything that you study in this mbbs course at least all right so let's build our first layer the first layer is actually understanding the normal physiology of how everything is working so let me take an example to elaborate let's say that i want to study arrhythmias from medicine unless and until i don't understand the conduction system of the heart i won't be able to study arrhythmias right because arrhythmias are just abnormalities in the conduction system so the first layer is understanding that basic concept and normalizing with the physiology of the heart. What is the pacemaker? What is the rates of firing? What is the speed of conduction? And what are the things, you know, uh, that are normally present in the heart and how it coordinates itself? What are the different terms such as ionotropy, chronotropy, tromotropy, etc. So this is the first layer of information where you are gathering sources and you are just filling it up and you are understanding the basic physiology of the human body. So that's the first layer. If let's say you are a student of second year or third year, then definitely there is something gap. Some, some of the parts of that layer are missing because you have moved on from studying the first year and now you are studying second year and third year. The easiest way to fill those gaps is to read the normal physiology, whether it be your notes, whether it be something like marrow lectures or something like reading the physiology from the textbook of pathology. Uh, you know, right, the standard textbooks in the starting itself, they have a few pages which understand, uh, which make you understand the normal physiology of everything. So this way the first layer is built. The stronger this layer is, the better the other layers are going to be built. Because if you don't understand the basic mechanism, nothing is going to work. Alright, now let's move on to our second layer. The second layer is actually understanding what all can go wrong with it. Uh, in medicine, there is this topic of arrhythmias where all the different types of arrhythmias, their classification and their management treatment, which is the later part of the layers. So the second part is actually understanding what is going wrong and how is it going wrong. If you understand these two questions properly, ki what is wrong with it and why is it wrong, then the second layer is fulfilled. This is also the most important layer for you because uh, as you are going to be doctors in the future, then you will see the patients who will be presenting mostly in the second layer of picture. So you should be able to differentiate the different patients based upon you know their different clinical presentations which is what you're going to be studying in the second layer itself. And the easiest way to keep this layer updated is to make notes, make questions and revise and reread the same topics again and again until it's like a second habit to you where you understand something very easily. Now the second layer is made, now comes the third layer. The third layer is usually about the treatment and the management of any given condition. Now uh, when you're reading something like Robbins or something from pathology, you will find that the treatment part is given in a very short short you know short paragraph or something like that and the clinical condition is also not given in much detail so the best way if even if you're a second year student refer the book of medicine for uh, the treatment and the management part don't read all of it read all of it that what you understand all right so uh, once you are down with the basic first layer of physiology second layer of you know understanding what is wrong and the third layer of how to treat that Thing which is going wrong then you are you know then you are already in the mindset ki, okay i know this topic very well so if somebody asks you a question right from there you will be able to answer it the next two layers that are going to come in this picture are going to be actually helping you to keep all of these layers intact all right so let us continue with that topic of arrhythmias itself the next layer the fourth layer will give you all the clinical skills 
those are practical skills that you require to diagnose and treat an, uh, an arrhythmia so how do we develop that for arrhythmias we need to be able to understand what the ecg is and how different leads work and what is the normal pattern so you will be able to read a ecg and you know tell what is happening to the patient so that is the fourth layer acquiring clinical skills now clinical skills acquirement can be difficult especially if you are a foreign medical graduate student uh, the reason is because uh, outside the patients are not as much as compared to what they are in india and in india also there is a wide variety of you know places where the distribution of patients is up and down so if you're a neat aspirant watching this for some reason till like this minute itself then uh, definitely try hard for a college which has a lot of clinical uh, inflow of a lot of patients so that what you what you will understand is that you will see the patients you will develop that fourth layer and sometimes what happens is that even if you don't have these three layers you can directly jump right on to the fourth layer where you directly acquire the clinical skills and while acquiring the clinical skills you build these layers downwards rather than upwards all right so uh, again talking about this how do you develop this first of all going to the hospital is the best practice that i've ever come across uh, i go to you know my college hospital whenever uh, the posting is there there is my father's hospital in Nagpur itself uh, in that itself i've got to see so many different cases of so many different cancer patients being treated as well as other different you know clinical scenarios so if you are a student who is you know privileged and lucky as me then definitely use all of these opportunities apart from that you can also solve a lot of clinical cases clinical cases will be best found in review books again the next layer is going to be talking more about them and of course on the internet let's say you are studying arrhythmias again you just write down arrhythmia cases on google and then just go to the first 10 websites you will definitely find a bunch of cases that will help you make this fourth layer even more stronger now that the fourth layer is done we move on to the fifth layer now the fifth layer is one layer which most of us don't want to go into because this is the layer which involves a lot of question and answers that means this is the layer which will actually keep you recalling stuff inside your mind so that it stays there for a longer duration of time so if you want to keep everything in your mind this fifth layer is a must for you uh, i mean definitely question and answers is the best way to understand anything in depth as well as you know keep in keep it in your mind forever all right so how do we do question and answers the important thing is that solve a lot of review books and do a lot of q banks from any different source that you find and also explain the topics to your friends so that when they counter question you it will be like building the layer 5 so these are the top 5 layers that you should be perfect with with any of the uh, you know given topic and any of the given scenario and i think this generally applies to almost everything in uh, our mbbs field or the medicine field itself uh, but also if you really extrapolate it to your level uh, it could also apply to what you guys are studying all right so this was the layer concept i don't know if anybody has used this before or maybe most of you are subconsciously using it and i have just put a name to it but anyways this is the one which has helped me a lot like a lot i can't tell you how much and yeah also remember that in the last fifth layer uh, try to solve flash cards as well uh, this five layer concept is done you can add additional layers to it by integrating the different topics together uh, this will actually help you in one thing that is uh, once you look at the human body you will stop looking at it through the eyes of the subject that means you will not see like if i'm studying physiology so i see a liver i only see the physiology if i'm studying pathology there's only pathology once you apply this layer wise concept then what will happen if you see a liver then you will see right from physiology to the treatment of hepatitis or some other condition you will see all of that in one direction all right so that your body which was once just a pieces of organs you were looking at it through the filters of the subject that is physiology anatomy etc now you're looking at it as a pieces of systems and this systemic approach and this integrated approach is what is really really beneficial and i think we should all be encouraged to do the same all right that was all the concept that i wanted to give you today anyways if you're new here my name is anuj pachel i am a second year mbbs student at gmc nagpur and thank you so much for being here if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then i highly suggest that you should because it's going to be very beneficial for you in the long run as well as for me because you know both of us can grow together all right uh, i make vlogs i do videos about certain things like this anyways please subscribe and please hit the like button it really helps a lot with that being said stay safe stay healthy and stay happy my dear friend i hope that next time i'll see you here